Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 16. Write expressions in which letters stand for numbers. So there's an opening exercise here, a classwork, that students are supposed to do on their own, and it says to underline the keywords in each statement. So pause the video, see if you can find the keywords, underline them, come back and check with me. Okay, hopefully now you've done that. So we're going to underline keywords in each statement. So I see a word here, sum, that means to add, and twice means two times. So those are the two keywords, the quotient of C and D. A raised to the fifth power, there's a power, an exponent, and then increased by the product of 5 and C increased by means plus and product means to multiply and power is an exponent so there's three words in that the quantity of a plus b divided by four the quantity of a plus b divided by a in E, it says 10 less than the product of 15 and C. Well, less than means to subtract. The product means to multiply. So we're going to multiply 15 and C and then subtract 15, 10. So we'll read right to left when we see the word than, less than, greater than, more than. F, 5 times multiplication, B, and then increased addition by A. Okay, so you got the same results as I did, and let's move on to the mathematical modeling exercise. So here it says to model how to change, how to change the expressions given in the opening exercise from words to variables and numbers. Okay, so A says the sum of twice B and 5. Okay, so the sum of sum means to add the word and tells me where to put that plus symbol and twice b means to be and put the plus sign where the and is five okay quotient means to divide the word and tells me where to put the division symbol so i could have c divided by d i could also put c over d okay Part C, A raised to the fifth power, A raised to the fifth power, and then increase by, and then increase by the product, meaning multiply, of 5 and C. 5 times C, we don't need the dot there. A number next to a variable means to multiply. So it's just simply A to the fifth plus 5C. The quantity of A plus b divided by 4. Quantity, that's a key word there, of a plus b, that tells me I need parentheses, divided by 4, or I could just simply do a plus b divided by 4. E says 10 less than, so I'm going to read this way in math when I switch it. Product means to multiply, and the product goes where the word and is. So 15 dot C or just simply 15 C. And we're reading this direction. Less than 10. So it's 15 C minus 10. 5 times D. And then increase by 8. Okay? So there's mathematical modeling exercise. Okay, so mathematical modeling exercise two says, model how to change each real, real world scenario to an expression using variables and numbers. Underline the text to show the key words before writing the expression. So it says, Marcus has four more dollars than Yasi. So I'm gonna underline more dollars than, more than, okay? It says, if Y is the amount of money Yasin has, write an expression to show how much money Mark has. So this is going to be more than Y. So Marcus has 
four more dollars than yes. So more than tells us to read backwards. So it's y more than Marcus, which is four. So it's y plus four. Okay. Next one. Mario is missing half of his assignments. So if we underline the keywords here, it's half. If A represents the number of assignments, okay, the number of assignments is A. Then write an expression to show how many assignments Mario is missing. Mario is missing half of his assignments, so it just simply be A divided by 2, or A over. Two. A represents the number of assignments. Write an expression to show how many assignments he is missing. He's missing A over 2. So if A was 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5. He was missing 5 of the 10 assignments. Okay, next one. Okay, Camilla's weight has tripled. There's a keyword. Since her first birthday. If W represents the amount Camilla weighs, okay, that's her weight, W. On her first birthday, write an expression to show how much Cam Camilla weighs now. Camilla's weight has tripled since her first birthday. So that would just be tripled weight, 3W. Okay, Nathan brings cupcakes to school. Keyword, cupcakes. I'm nah, just kidding. Nathan brings cupcakes to school and gives them to his five best friends who share them equally. Okay, they're sharing equally. There's the key word. So they're all going to get the same number of cupcakes. C represents the number of cupcakes. He's going to divide them equally among five friends. It's going to simply be C divided by five. Okay, Mrs. Marcus combines her atlases and dictionaries and then divides them among ten different tables. So the keywords here are, let's see, what are we going to underline? We have a combination, so she's adding, and then dividing them among 10 different tables. Okay, so Mrs. Marcus combines her atlases and dictionaries. If A represents the number of atlases and D represents the number of dictionaries, so it's atlases plus dictionaries. Write an expression to show how many books will be on each table. Add up all the atlases and dictionaries, divide by 10, and that would be our expression. We could also have done A plus D divided by 10, but if we do it this way, please make sure you do the addition in parentheses so that the order of operations is done correctly. Okay, next one. To improve in basketball, Ivan needs to shoot four times as many free throws and four times as many jump shots every day. If F represents free throws and J represents number of jump shots Ivan shoots daily, write an expression to show how many shots he'll need to take in order to improve in basketball. Okay, so... He needs to take four times as many free throws and four times as many jump shots. Okay, so that word there I circled, but that's a real important word there. And, and means add. We're going to add those. So we're going to take four times free throws plus four times his jump shots. 4F plus 4J. Okay, I can also factor that since they both have a factor of 4. I could factor out 4 and just do 4 times the quantity F plus J. Okay, exercise. Try these on your own, pause the video, come back, check your solutions with me, and we'll see how you do. Okay, so here we go. 
Mark the text by underlying keywords, and then write an expression using variables and or numbers for each state. B decreased by C squared. B decreased by C squared. Next one. Number two. 24 divided by the product of 2 and A. 24 divided by 2A. Or 24 divided by 2A. 150 decreased by the quantity of 6 plus B. The quantity. Okay, we're going to take 150, decrease it by the quantity 6 plus B. Make sure you have those parentheses. Actually, here parentheses wouldn't matter because even without order of operations says that if we only have subtraction and addition, we work left to right. Okay, so actually, would it really matter if B was 6, 150 minus 12, or 150 minus 6 plus 6? Uh, yeah, order does matter. Though. Do need the parentheses. The sum twice C and 10. Sum tells us add and tells us where to put the plus sign. So we have an addition sign going where the and is, and we're taking twice C plus 10. Marlowe had $35, but then he spent, spent $10. So he had 35, and he spent, so you take away $10. Okay, if you don't want the dollar sign there, it's just simply 35 minus 10. Okay, Samantha saved her money and was able to quadruple the original amount, M, 4M. Veronica increased her grade, G, by 4. Increased add, that's where the word by is, and then doubled it. So she increased her grade G by 4, and then doubled it. So make sure you have parentheses there. Ab Adbel had, Adbel, I never heard that name before, but anyhow. Adbel had M pieces of candy, and ate five of them. So M pieces of candy take away five. Then he split the remaining candy equally among four friends. There we go. Find out how much paint is needed, Mr. Jones. Find to find out how much paint is needed, Mr. Jones must square the side lengths S of the gate and then subtract fifteen. Square S, side length S, and then subtract 15. No parentheses needed there. PEMDAS says to use exponents first and then subtract. Number 10. Luis bought X cans of cola to the party. Faith brought D cans of cola. And Deshaun brought H cans of cola. How many cans of cola did they bring all together? That's addition. So it's simply X plus D plus so, brought X cans, brought D cans, brought. To bring something, you're adding to the table. How many cans? How many? I don't want how many. Okay. I mean, they bring all together. X plus D plus H. That's the end of lesson 16. Go to your problem set.